again, everyone, and welcome to this lesson on multiplying using place value patterns. We can start off by asking the question, how can we multiply whole numbers and multiples of 10 using place value patterns and the associative property? And before we get into any examples, let's quickly review the associative property and what it means. When we have three numbers that we want to multiply together, let's just say 5 times 2 times 3. Now in the current order, we'd start off by multiplying 5 times 2, which we know equals 10, and then multiplying that by 3, and 10 times 3 is 30. Now if we were to change the order, in this case we would multiply 5 times 3 first, which is 15, and 15 times 2 also equals 30. And again, if we still change the order of these numbers around, we would do 2 times 3 first, which is 6, and then 6 times 5 again equals 30. So the associative property states that the order of the terms does not matter when you're multiplying real numbers. Which we could see in this example where the order of the terms did not matter since the product always resulted in 30. And we are going to continue to look at the number 30 since it is a multiple of 10. We can say that 30 is equal to the number 10 times 3. Or in terms of money, we can think of $30 as three $10 bills. So we can continue to extend our thinking here to the idea of place values. 30 is a 3 with one zero digit, and we can think of it as 3 times 10. 300 is a 3 with two zero digits, and we can think of it as 3 times 100. 3000 is a 3 with three zero digits, and we can think of it as 3 times 1000. So we can see how the place values, in this case the zero digits, correspond. <laughs> cool. So let's go ahead and start our first example where we want to multiply 17 times 10. Now, we can think of this as laying out 17 $10 bills and figuring out how much money that would be. So 17 10s would equal 170. Now, what if we were to replace that 10 with a 20? So now we have 17 times 20. Now, instead of 17 piles of 10, we have 17 piles of two 10s since two tens equals 20. So we can rethink this product as 17 times two tens since 20 and two tens are equivalent. And 17 times two tens is 34 tens since 17 times two is 34, and 34 $10 bills would be $340. Oh yeah! For our next example, we want to find the product of 40 and five. Now we're gonna rewrite 40 as four tens, and again, we want to multiply this by 5. So 4 times 5, in this case, 4 tens times 5, would equal 20 tens. And 20 times 10, or 20 $10 bills, would equal 200. Now, there is another trick that we can use here when multiplying with multiples of 10. What we're going to do is take the two non-zero digits and multiply them together. In this case, 4 times 5, which equals 20. And then notice that 40, which is our multiple of 10, has one zero digit. So we'll take that one zero digit and tack it onto the product that we just found. And a 20 with an extra zero added to it is 200. Ooh. So either method will get you the same product. So with this method in mind, let's go ahead and try to find the product of 40 and 50, which are both multiples of 10. Again, take the two non-zero digits, four and five, multiply them together. Four times five is 20. And now we have two zero digits, so we take those two digits and tack them onto the product that we just found, and our answer is 2,000. 40 times 50 as a product of 2,000. So let's keep using this trick. Now let's try to find the product of 40 and 500. Again, multiply the two non-zero digits together. 4 times 5 is 20. And now we have three zero digits left over. So we take those three and tack them on to the product that we just found, and our answer is 20,000. Now the last thing that we're going to do is use that associative property as a method of finding and understanding this product for the same example. We can think of 40 as 4 times 10. And we can think of 500 as 5 times 100. And again, we want to multiply these two numbers together. Now since we're multiplying here, the associative property allows us to change the order of the numbers here. So we can take that 10 and 5, and we can switch them around 
and then multiply this out much easier. Now over on the left side, we have a simple product of 4 times 5, which we've done several times before in this lesson, and we know is 20. Over on the right side, we have 10 times 100, which we know equals 1,000. And to find the final product here, we just have to multiply 20 times 1,000, which we know is equal to 20,000, which is the product of 40 and 500. <laughs> So it's super important and helpful to not only be able to recognize these patterns, but to really understand them because it's going to give you a greater understanding of number sense and will help you in future mathematics. So thanks a lot for checking out this lesson. Peace. <laughs> thanks a lot, guys, for checking us out. And please follow us on Instagram at MashupMath for daily math tips, animated flashcards, and our math in sports infographics. Check it out. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.